Hey, what is up guys? It's Swerve and today I'm going to be showing you how to get any car online after patch 1.08 on GTA 5. Now I did figure this out on my own and I do believe I am the first to upload this on YouTube. So if you do decide to make a video on it, make sure to credit me. But all I ask is that you guys like the video and subscribe as these things aren't easy to find. And by supporting me, you guys motivate me to create more content. But without further ado, let's get on with the tutorial. Alright, so before doing anything, you will need to mod the car you'd like to take into online, into single player. So if you don't know how to do that, I will have a link in the description, as well as an annotation on screen on how to do that. So once you have the car on single player, you're going to want to drive into Michael's garage and then quick save by going on your phone, and make sure you overwrite your previous save. Now what you're going to want to do is pause the game, and start up an online session by selecting go, and make sure it's not an invite only session. But once you are online, you will need a lag switch for this part, so again, I will have a link to the download in the description. Okay, so make sure you're paying close attention to what I'm doing here, as the timing is key on this. So you're going to want to pull up your phone, go on the internet, hover over money and services, now start your lag switch, and quickly in one motion click money and services, pause the game, open the store, pause again, then leave the GTA online session. Now from here the store will load up, so just stop the lag switch when it comes up, and then exit the store. So once you see the cloud sort of zooming in after you exit the store, you're going to want to once again start up the lag switch. Now keep the lag switch running for a little and then run as fast as you can to your garage and turn it off right away because if you leave it running too long it will kick you from online. But now just drive the car out of your garage and after a minute you'll see your online cash at the top right hand corner of the screen. So once you see your money this means you're in an online game. Now you won't be able to pull up the list of the people in the game and you will be invisible to everyone in the game. So now you're going to want to invite a friend to the game and tell him to meet you somewhere. Again, you'll have to communicate because he won't be able to see you, but once you are near each other, simply exit the car and it will disappear on your screen. Now once the car disappears on your screen, it will appear on his and he can then drive it into Los Santos or whatever he wants to do. And now you're just going to want to exit the game and have him invite you back. And once you're back, then you can have him give you the car. And there you go, you have the modded car online. As you can see, I now have the tow truck online after patch 1.08, but that's not all I'll be showing you today. Now I'm going to show you how you guys can actually store the cars that you can't normally drive into your garage in your garage. So what you need to do for this is enable passive mode and park your car outside your garage nearby. And from here, have a friend get a tank and park right in front of it. And now you're going to want to drive out of your garage in a car. And as soon as you see his tank coming out, have him drive over you, except when he runs over you, your car will blow up but you will not die and you'll sort of glitch and spawn right nearby and from here the car will now have a tracker. So I actually put a tracker on my tow truck but because they deleted it from the game it disappeared as soon as I tried to store it in my garage but if you mod in different cars then usually you can just drive out of your garage and we'll put that one inside. So that's about it and I want to give a special thanks to Dason for helping me figure this out and if you have any questions just ask me in the comments below but the shout out I chose for my previous video was BlackShadow363 who said I like spreading my asshole open with hedge trimmers. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment something random, and check out my music channel for the best non-copyright music, but until next time, I'm out.